Bears fans. It's game day once again between the Chicago Bears versus the Miami Dolphins. The Chicago Bears are back at home after that awesome win against Atlanta last Sunday in Atlanta, Georgia. So hopefully the Bears could get their first victory at home against the Miami Dolphins. I'll do a halftime report like I usually do. I'm here live at Coach's Corner with my dad. So go Bears. Hopefully you don't see the, the bad color. Hopefully you see the good color. And hopefully everyone step up their freaking game. I'm out of here for now. Have a good one. Hey, 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 Are down at halftime 14 to nothing over the Miami Dolphins. I guess we get the Jake Cutler of bad this time in the first half. They can't run the ball, they can't pass the ball. Um, Miami just throwing deep balls, and our defense not doing nothing in the first half. Come on, Bears. Do something in the, in the second half. Hopefully, Tressman have an awesome pep talk. Hopefully, he's doing something to spark this Bears defense offense. Do something for crying out loud. I'm very, very mad. You can see on my face here. So, that made no sense. And um, I know it's only 14 to nothing, but hopefully. Um, we do something. I know Conte's is out for the game. Same thing for Lance Bridge. You know, they said earlier on um, Twitter and all that social media bullcrap. So hopefully Bears will put some points on the board. Glad the Bears will get the ball in the second half. So this is your friend here, Team IRI, and I'll see you guys after the game. I'll do a quick post um, my thoughts on today's game. Go Bears! Later, Gator. Yeah, tough time. Be kidding me. The Chicago Bears lost again at home with a 27 to 14 loss over the Miami Dolphins. The Chicago Bears had three turnovers in this game. The Bears cannot really overcome the three turnovers, so that really sucks. Um, Color did not really do nothing at all not no big plays he's not throw big bombs like he usually do Mafete was not really a big factor i know he got late touchdown that really sucks a lot of penalties so i'm very very disappointed now the bears are now three wins and four losses so bears are still winless at home so it sucks next game will be in new england watch we'll get our ass kicked because tom brady is on fire this early season but i'm not gonna give up on this bears season hell no but bears fans stay tuned for my bears podcast i'll go more deep on this game so, um, that's about it. I don't do a lot of video footage on the game because I'm trying to enjoy the game. I really thought the Bears were going to make a huge comeback late in the fourth quarter, but it was never the case, and um, it really sucks. So, um, that's what I'm going to say. Baron Marshall did not get no touchdowns. So, it sucks. Late in the fourth quarter, they just keep passing it, passing it. Why the hell they did not run it? You know what's going to happen, Bears fans? When it gets closer 
to winter time, they gotta start running the ball because if they throw it, it's gonna be hard to the receivers catch the ball. But that's what I'm gonna say. And once again, stay tuned to my Bears um, podcast, and I'll go more deep on today's game. So that's about it. Me and my dad had fun at Coach Corner. It's not really that busy because the Bears game's over. Now they have other games from the afternoon games. So this is your friend here, Team My Right, sign off, and Gold Bears for the rest of the season. Sayonara. Oh, before I left, before I let you go, I'm glad that Minnesota lost, but Green Bay won and Minnesota lost. So we're still in the same boat. I think in third place later for now.